So here is my home page, and I don't know if it's even going to capture the image or not, the sound, I mean. But anyways, first things first is you're probably wondering how I got these wonderful skins for my icons. And for that, I use, let's see, where did I put it? I put it up in games. So I use Cocopa. And Cocopa is a really, really cool app that lets you just pick and choose different icons and different wallpapers. You can even check out collections that other people have made of combinations of those, which are really cool. You can like them and stuff. These uh, translucent, transparent icons you can only use by downloading Cocopa to your PC, I guess, and then installing them that way. I don't know. I've never tried. I don't bother. But what it does basically, how it works, is let me go find one that's not transparent really quickly. Ah, no. Starbucks, go away. Is you find an icon you like, and then you press download, and it basically makes a shortcut. I have everything in a folder that I titled replaced. Because if you delete the actual app itself, you will delete the data, but you can delete these to your choosing. Uh, this is also where I got my background. Let's see what else I can show you. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I like this memo. I had to pay for it, but it's really cute. And they haven't updated for the new iOS, but it's really cute and you can like tap and drag these around and stuff. It's so cute. See, I have line. I love my calculator. Deco Dentaku again hasn't been formatted for the iPhone 5 yet. But if you press the heart, you can pick blue. You can pick yellow. But of course, I pick pink. And when you have the sound on, it makes this really cute, like jeweled sound. But of course, we're not going to play that because I don't know if that'll even work. So in my miscellaneous folder, I use Celine. Celine is a really, really cute app for tracking your period. I know that's such a weird thing to say, and I'm not going to open it because it's a little bit personal. But if you're looking for one that's really private, that when just looking at this page, nobody's going to notice that's your period tracker, go ahead and download Celine. She's really cute, and she also, the cat gives you really cute tips sometimes. So that's really cute. And then I use Emoticon. And this one for my emojis. And this one takes a little bit getting used to because the button layout is kind of strange. And sometimes it crashes. Like if you press on a link too fast, it will just like not move. But these are my favorites. I only have one favorited. And you have these really cute ones. And you can pick an emotion group or whatever. And it'll open up some more. And if you just click on it, it copies it for you. It's so cute. Anyways, in my photography tab, these are the ones I use for my photography. I don't really use Petapic anymore. I should probably get rid of that. Yeah. But I really like using Matopic to edit my photos. You can also do an FX camera, which is really cool. We're just going to retouch. Ooh, I'll do this one. I've already had it edited already. But this one is the unedited version. So I just do auto retouch. And then I really like natural, fair, sweet. I love those shoes. And then I love that you can do this. And then, of course, all the standard edits. And then I like using Iris, formerly known as Wine. Do my collages and then I go to sticker pick. I haven't been editing my photos lately with stickers, but when I do, look. When I do, I use this. Photo Wonder is really good for editing, especially if you want to fix your face or your legs or whatever you're insecure about. But I don't really use it anymore because I like my two pick. Photo Wonder is pretty cute too. 
Kings I have. Battlecats and Simpsons. You guys should add me on Simpsons. But add me. Add me. That's like Battlecats. Battlecats is really cute and fun and addicting. But I'm not going to open it because it takes forever. And then I have this really cute one. Which I think is like Neko Natsumi. Natsume. But you just basically attract cats. It's like a and they leave you fishies. Which is kind of productive to what cats do, but and you get to name all the different kinds of cats too. Uh, it's basically like a commute app. You feed the cats and then you come back later and you'll see kitties playing and they're really cute. And then you can take pictures of them. And then I use Task Cat for all my to-do lists. I get to go whoop. Another one to alert. No, I don't have to do And then you have like a bunch of different things. Look! These are my to-do list for my videos. Woohoo! So that's about it. I mean, there's nothing much else to show you. So. I guess I can show you how this works. Oh, uh, let's go to Instagram. Ooh. It just loads up the internet and then loads up your app. That's it. There's nothing else to show you. I hope you enjoyed it.